Hey, my name is Cody. Welcome to the Axe Family YouTube channel. Today I'm going to help you figure out how to train your dog to overcome fear. This could be fear of a lot of different things. So I'm going to show you one thing in particular and then you can apply it to whatever your dog is afraid of. So I have a black Labrador. <laughs> Chief has been afraid of the stairs, so he just runs up them. Let's see if he'll go down these stairs. Come here. Ah, uh, uh, hey, come here. Hey, welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a smile on your face because today is a beautiful, beautiful day. Today we're gonna do a little bit of dog training with Chief. So I have a black Labrador uh, retriever and he's a purebred AKC male, neutered, and he's about three and a half years old. I've done a lot of training with him. I primarily trained him to be a pet, but he also knows how to shed hunt. So if you don't know what shed hunting is, deer and elk uh, lose their antlers every year and those are called sheds and it's kind of a sport people will go hiking and find sheds and so I train chief to be able to smell them and then find them and then bring them back to me um, he also has uh, done some bird hunting uh, I wouldn't say he's super strong in bird hunting but he enjoys being in the water he um, has retrieved uh, birds before so uh, we've only been hunting a handful of times but those are kind of the things that I've taught him to do. And today I'm gonna to help him overcome a fear. So this is Chief. Come here. Good boy, stay. And he recently has been showing some fear in relation to steps, specifically steps like this, where you can see through, it's open. Uh, he just has been a little bit hesitant about going up or down them. And so we're gonna work on that today. Um, let's just see right away if he can he can go up the steps. Um, come here, Chief. Hey, come here. Good boy, sit. Okay, so I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point him up the steps and then I'll release him, Chief. Okay, so uh, that's a little bit better than he did before. Chief, come here. Good boy. So obviously coming down, he looks a little bit more comfortable than going up. Um, his kind of reaction was instead of going up slow, it's just to run. And so the first time we went up steps like this, he was very hesitant. And then all of a sudden he just took off and he sprinted up it to like, let's get this over with. So there's a longer uh, set of stairs over here and the steps are actually see-through, they're metal. They're gonna be a little bit more rough on the pads of his feet. Um, and he's also gonna be able to see through to the ground to see how high up he is. So I wanna see if he'll go up those stairs. As you can see, uh, it's just like a metal grate and you can see through it. So he is more than, more than capable and able to go up and down these stairs um, but I know that he's gonna be afraid so let's call him over here hey chief come here come here good boy good boy okay I'm gonna Sit. Okay, stay right there. So anytime your dog uh, has a fear, you want to introduce it in a way that is gradual. The process is called desensitization. So it's the same with training a horse, um, other animals. You want to introduce them to the subject or the task in a small manner and let them experience a sense of accomplishment. And once they have that sense of accomplishment, then they'll go a little bit farther, do a little bit more, and you are going to desensitize them to that activity to the point where it's no big deal anymore. So with horses, a lot of people will take like a plastic uh, sack. And if you stood, you know, 
50 feet from a you know a green horse and kind of shook that sack the horse would probably start to freak out and look at you and you would kind of do that to the point where the horse isn't bothered by it anymore and then you'd move into let's say 40 feet do the same thing you walk all around it at 40 feet shake the sack eventually they're gonna realize okay that sack is just shaking it's just a grocery sack like it's no big deal and I'm fine and so then you keep moving in and in closer and closer so you're desensitizing them to the point where eventually you're gonna be able to rub um, that grocery sack on their body and why you use the plastic grocery sack is because it makes a lot of noise and it's just that noise itself uh, that crinkly noise is disturbing to horses who haven't heard it before um, so here with chief we're gonna have him go up just a couple steps or maybe get onto the first step and let him experience that uh, once he feels comfortable with that then we'll take him back down we'll praise him and then we'll try to move up the staircase so let's see how he does chief come here come here yeah good boy yeah good boy good boy okay he got his front paws on there so now he knows hey i can i can put my front paws on there and it'll actually support me so that was a good first step okay chief come here let's go up a little bit higher this time hey chief come here come here buddy good boy good boy oh yeah i want to get those back legs on there so all four legs are on the stairs right now good boy good boy okay back good boy good boy okay i'm gonna go up a little bit higher this time and what he was doing with the other staircase was he was just running up them and i'm afraid that if he just you know took off up this graded staircase that he might he might injure himself or you know get halfway up and kind of freak out and so I'm, I want to stand here to be able to stop him and just gradually move him up and down the stairs longer and longer each time. Hey, Chief, come here. Hey, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Okay, back. Good boy, Chief. Good boy. Tail wagging. Okay, stay. We're gonna go up a little bit higher now. I'm about halfway up. Chief, come here. Come here. Ah, hey, come here. He wants to run that way. Chief, come here. Good boy, come on. Come here. Ah, 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 ah. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Chief. So, sit. Stay. So he made it uh, up to where he was at before and then he decided to turn around because he got scared. So we'll just try it again. Um, ex instead of uh, asking him to come all the way up here again, I am going to move down just a little bit and have him come to me. Chief, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good job. Okay, back. Good boy, He's struggling a little bit. All right, now we'll move back up to about halfway up the staircase. Chief, come here. Come here. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Okay, back. Nice and slow. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's go up higher this time get up uh we're about three quarters of the way so chief's already trying to he's going around he doesn't want to come all the way up here hey what are you doing huh you just trying to take the easy way up huh you're trying to take the easy way chief i need you to go back down okay over there back right there hey Hey. Good boy. Hey. Come come here. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Stay. So we work a lot on 
on direction, um, especially if he's trying to find something or something where I, where I know uh, I know where something's at and I want him to go get it. I've had like I've left my hat out on the grass or something, and I'll be able to direct him out to where my hat is, and I'll say bring it here, and he'll he'll bring my hat to me. Uh, different things like that. So I want to be able to have him in different environments and be able to move him around with my my voice and my hand signals so let's see if he can go up about three quarters of the way of the steps now chief come here no come here come here no good boy good boy Come here, come here. Good boy, good job. Good job, buddy, good job. <laughs> Look at his tail wagging. He's so proud of himself, but he's like, let me get off of here. Okay, we're so close to the top. We're so close to the top, but I, I'm gonna make him go all the way back down. Okay, chief, back, back, nice and slow, back. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Right there. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Okay. So he made it up three quarters of the way. And now we're going to see if we can get him to come all the way up the stairs. And this will be the final test to conquer his fear. I mean, at the beginning he was so afraid he he was not even gonna try this. So I'm pretty sure right off the bat he's gonna try to run around and that's what I was doing before I was stopping him. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, Chief, come here. No. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, you so excited? Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome job. Okay, Chief, I want you to go back down now, okay? Come here. Ready? Chief. Ah, 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 ah. Still afraid, huh? Scary. Okay, come here. Chief. Good boy. Back. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Chief. Good job. Okay, you come back up. Look at that. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so Chief just totally conquered his fear. And it was because I was able to help him through the process. We did desensitization. We went baby steps, little step at a time. And every time he accomplished one of those little steps, he was more confident in himself. And so that's what you need to do with your dog. And it might be um, going around a puddle. It might be getting him into water, you know, swimming for the first time. It might be um, being around loud equipment or different things like that and being close to a baby. Some dogs are scared of babies at first. And so. Whatever it is, just take that approach. Just be slow with them, be calm, be patient, and very encouraging, uplifting, you know, rewarding them for their good behavior. I'm not talking about just pouring treats on them, but just good boy, you know, good girl, good job. And letting them know that they're doing a good job and you're with them through this process. Because it's difficult, just like how it is for us when we face our fears. But we want to jump in and conquer them because we're better for it on the other end. So thanks for watching today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button all the way in. Ring the bell for notifications when we post new videos. I'm gonna to try to do some more videos with Chief and just dog training every now and then, but my wife and I, we're traveling full time right now, visiting friends and family. So we invite you to come along and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have a different approach or you think something I'm doing is crazy, you know, let me know. I'm, I'm open to the comments. So we'll see you later. Hats off to you. Good boy.
Hey. Chief. Yeah, that didn't work very well. He's trying to find a stick. Right there. Right there. Good boy. Bring it here. 